I'm going to show you how to quickly launch a poll with Slido. And the first thing to do is go to slido.com and I'm going to log in. I've already used this service before, so I have an account. I'm going to log in and once I'm logged in, I'm going to create a new event. You can create an event and you reuse it for a class over a period of time or for a series of meetings, or you can create a new event each time you are hosting something. So in this case, I'm going to click create event and I'm going to call the event quick uh, meeting and I'm going to give it a code. I could just use the default code, but I'm going to use a uh, another code and I'm going to call it uh, Thursday and that's already taken. So I'm going to choose another one. I'm going to call it um, I'm going to call it Howdy. That's going to be a quick poll. So I'm going to create the event and I'm going to choose an end date and I'm going to say I want this poll to be open for a week and I'm going to create the event and it's actually not just one poll, it's a series of polls. Now I can go over here to live polls and I can create any of these kinds of polls. I can create a multiple choice poll, a word cloud. I'm going to start with a word cloud and I'm going to say, how do you feel today? It's always nice to check in with people. I call these uh, social polls and you can allow people to answer multiple times, but this is a word cloud. So we really want people to just use one word. So we get a nice clean word cloud. So in one word, how do you feel today? And I'm going to save that. Um, and I might also create a, a topical poll. So I'm going to create another one, and this one's going to be an open text poll. So I'm going to say, uh, let's see, let's say this is for journalism. What subject has been undercovered as a result of the current crisis? And again, I'm going to allow people to answer multiple times if they want to. That means once they've entered uh, their response, they can enter it again, enter another response. So um, I'm going to save that. And I'll just do one other. Uh, and this will be a another open text one. And I'll just ask people for input. That's the third type of poll. So we have social polls. Um, how are you feeling? We have topical polls, what subject has been undercovered, and now we have a poll um, uh, for their input. What question um, is most prominently on your mind at the moment? Um, and I'll say related to today's session. Um, and again, I can allow multiple responses and I'll click save. Now, one other thing, um, so now any of these polls are ready to go and I can launch them. And if I launch the poll, we can go into present mode and present in full screen. And this is what it's going to look like when I present in a meeting or in a class. People are going to see a QR code so they can just take out their phone and point it at the screen um, and use the camera app and it'll open right up. And that's a nice, simple way to um, let people into a poll. They can also type in the code. Slido.com is the link and then type in the code howdy. Um, so I'm going to open up this poll here using my QR code and on my screen it's loading up Slido and now I see the poll and now I can respond right from my phone which is nice and easy or you can respond from another window on your laptop and uh, it's really really nice and easy and once people start responding the poll results start showing up right here. So I'm going to just type in one so you see what that looks like. I'm going to say um, terrific and send and you're going to see that appear on the screen and now I'm going to type in um, another response since I can add multiple responses and this time I'm going to admit that I feel a little anxious given the situation and that's going to pop up there as well um, and I also feel grateful for my health and family and friends and I'm going to put that up there as well so now I've entered three responses and as you see as a respondent I can also see the responses that other people are putting in in real time on my device. So even if I, as a presenter, switch to a different screen, the person responding can still see um, the responses that other people are sharing. So a couple other quick things I want to show you. Slido also has an audience Q&A tab. And what that allows is people to send a question. So I can, as a participant, go over to the Q&A tab and say, um, what are we focusing on tomorrow 
um, and I can either put my name in or not. And you can see the question will appear on the screen. And people, other people can upvote questions um, so that there's a kind of a crowdsourced um, expression of interest in particular topics. And one thing I want to show you, and this is what the audience Q&A tab looks like and the live polls tab looks like in the presenter mode. And as a presenter, you also have access to some additional features. One of them that I recommend you turn on is called Ideas. And you can allow people to share ideas on whatever topic you want. So now there are three ways that people can participate. They can ask a question during your session as it's going on. They can share an idea. And for that, I'm going to create a topic. Um, what has been useful to you in coping with stress during this crisis, right? So that might be a social poll for a kind of a break from the discussion if it's a, if it's a primary um, topic is something else. Um, so they can respond and share an idea with other people there. They can also respond to the live polls. And when I'm ready, I can switch the main poll to uh, a secondary poll and people will see on their screen a new poll appear. So while I'm conducting a Zoom session, I often have these polls running and I find it's a great way to start the session, get people engaged right away. I also find it's a good, um, I'll, I'll, uh, a good way to, to mix things up along the way in the middle and also at the end as a closer, it's great to have a nice poll. And I particularly like the open text kinds of polls because then people can really share whatever they think. They're not limited by the Zoom polls which allow only a few select multiple choice options. So there you have it. That's in a nutshell, how to use Slido, how to set it up, how to use it during a session. And I hope that's useful to you, and I encourage you to give it a try.